What if I told you there is a search engine that's smarter, faster and more intuitive than Google? Meet Perplexity AI, your new go-to for instant accurate answers. I recently made a video about how Googling can be a frustrating experience with all those ads and sponsored links cluttering up your search results. You just want the answer, not a scavenger hunt, right? That's where Perplexity comes in. Think of it like having a smart assistant that not only answers your questions instantly but also backs them up with credible sources. In today's video, I'll show you how Perplexity AI works, why it might change how you search online and how it compares against Google and even ChatGPT. It's just like another search engine like Google, but this is AI powered. So if you ask a question on Perplexity, instead of giving you multiple links like how Google does, Perplexity will go through those links and will give you a direct answer right away. It's very fast and also clear. You can also ask follow-up questions unlike Google. But we have been doing the same with AI chatbots like ChatGPT or Copilot, right? So the difference between Perplexity and other AI chatbots is Perplexity is more like a search engine and not like a chatbot. ChatGPT will say something based on its old knowledge, while Perplexity will search the internet live, understand it and respond to your question directly, but won't remember anything from previous conversations or even get personalized. Perplexity is very simple to use. Go to www.perplexity.ai or even you can download the app on your Mac or iPhone or any other smartphone. Just type your question like how you would search on Google and boom, it gives you a direct answer. No need to click through a bunch of links to find your answers like Google does. For example, if you search what's the latest iPhone model, Perplexity will give you the model name, release date and a quick summary of the phone. Plus, it provides links to buy the iPhone from various sellers. Google does give this info as well, but with Perplexity, you can continue the conversation with more follow-up questions. I'm gonna ask how much RAM does it have? There, it knows the context and is pulling the right results and providing me the exact answers. I'm gonna continue asking more questions like what's the sensor size of the main camera? Perplexity AI is the assistant that is doing the live Google search in the backend research and giving you just the required answers. Wait, doesn't ChatGPT does the same thing? Well, that's where the difference is. ChatGPT, at least in the free version, just has a stored version of all internet data until 2023 and will share text based on relevant information. The information may be right, may be inaccurate, ChatGPT doesn't care. If it has a bunch of information, it's going to return some results based off of that. Perplexity on the other hand, queries the internet at that instant, fetches all the results, identifies the answer, tries to fact check and verifies the answer and then presents it to you with credible citations as well. Perplexity has a free version that's more than enough for most users, but there's also a pro version for $20 a month with extra features. If you're just looking for quick answers, the free version works great. You will see a simple UI with a big ask anything section. If you want a more specific answer, there are more modes like academic, math, voice, writing and more. Great for students or anyone who needs specialized information. Now, if you were to ask Google what's the new iPhone model, Google would just give you the name of the model and a few snippets of information. But here's where it gets tricky. If you want to know more, like the specs or features, you would need to click on multiple links to get the full picture. It's like scavenger hunt again. For example, if you ask Google, tell me about the iPhone 16 series camera, you will get a bunch of links to videos, Apple websites and some other pages. Sure, it's helpful, but it's a lot of clicking and digging. Publicity, on the other hand, gives you the direct answer you need without all the extra work. It's fast and it's all laid out for you in one place. Super efficient right? But here's the thing, while Perplexity is awesome for quick facts, it doesn't offer the depth that Google does. For example, if you're looking for something broad like best vacation spot in Europe, Google will give you lots of options, reviews, images, interactive maps and all sorts of details. Perplexity though will give you a quick answer but won't drive into variety and depth.
Now, ChatGPT and Gemini, these two are AI powered assistants and while they are great for answering questions and having conversations, they work very differently from perplexity. With ChatGPT or Gemini, you are having a chat, you ask a question and they give you detailed back and forth responses. But here's the catch, they don't pull live information from the web. They rely on data they've already been trained on. So if you ask something really recent like the latest iPhone release, they might not give you the most up-to-date information unless they have specifically been trained on it. Let's ask some questions to Perplexity, Google and ChatGPT side by side and put in live action to see when to actually use Perplexity over Google and ChatGPT. Okay, my first question is, what are the top five budget-friendly laptops for students in 2024? Let me copy paste it in Google and ChatGPT as well. Okay, coming back to perplexity. Wow, interesting. It gives me just five laptop recommendations with a summary of the specs for each of them. And below, there are links to all the five and the price looks budget friendly to me. I mean, it looks affordable for students. Let's see what Google has to say. Okay, so many options. So it's my job now to open each of these and figure out which one is the best pick for a student. Let's scroll down. Now comes the sponsored laptops followed by more articles on budget and cheap laptops for students in 2024. Now you see the limitations with Google. I mean, I can still open multiple websites, read about a few laptops and then come to a conclusion for the top five budget friendly laptop myself. But here's where I would prefer using perplexity and save some time. Okay, let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. I see five recommendations, so good. But the price doesn't look budget friendly to me when compared to Perplexity's recommendations, right? Let's ask another question. Who won the most medals in this year's Olympics? Okay, I really love how precise and how neat the answer looks. I mean, I like the table here which gives me the numbers crystal clear. Let's check Google. Okay, it's giving me the names and pictures of the athletes who won the most medals. Fair enough, but I wanted to know about the country. Let me open this link. Oh yeah, now I can see what I was looking for. Let's check on ChatGPT. Neat answer, but I still like the table from Perplexity where I didn't have to read much, but I got the answer right away. Okay, one final question. What's the latest GDP growth rate of India in Q4 2024? Wow, the response from Perplexity is so detailed with clear references to official sources. It also mentions the key growth drivers like manufacturing and exports and also provides a specific forecast of India's GDP for the year 2024 at 7.8%. Okay, Google also gives similar information citing reliable sources and including predictions from multiple entities. However, However, there is no specific numerical value given for the Q4 growth like the perplexities answer. There is no clarity in the answer. I'll have to open multiple links to read it and maybe I'll be able to find the right answer. I would say ChatGPT's answer is also well structured maybe because it is using the latest 4.0 model which has internet access. But for me, perplexity appears to be the most precise in its response, providing clear figures, the 7.8% growth forecast, and a mention of various reliable sources, including detailed contributors to the GDP growth, like manufacturing and exports. The only limitation with perplexity is that the free version limits you to five voice searches a day, but the pro version you can do way more. You also get extra features like file analysis and advanced search options with the pro version. My personal opinion, perplexity is efficient and precise in providing direct, concise answers, especially when it comes to providing clear data points and reliable sources. I appreciate how perplexity gives me the essential information right away, saving so much time compared to Google, which requires more effort in sifting through multiple links and sponsored content. While Google offers a wealth of information, I sometimes find it less structured and harder to navigate, while ChatGPT is more conversational and provides 
detailed and well-structured answers. But in comparison to perplexity, it lacks the same level of precision when it comes to specific figures like GDP forecasts. So that's a wrap. Whether you need quick facts, detailed content or a friendly chat, now you know when to reach perplexity, Google or ChatGPT. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and let me know in the comments which tool you prefer and why. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.